Yep. I don't know that we had a bad one today. My gosh, oh, yeah. there's usually one you kind of go, oh, gee, I'm not so sure about sharp. that. But, oh, my <laughs> gosh, all day has just been above and beyond. I've and been it's all because impressed. of Ken. <laughs> oh, well, we're at ComTech. We're pleased to be your sponsor. Um, I think this is a uh, venue that's, that's powerful, thought-provoking, informative for everyone. Uh, glad to be a part of it. Really, really, we are. And so uh, uh, thanks for the opportunity. David. Well, yeah. thank you for the opportunity. And so, you know, you usually do a fantastic job sort of summing up the day for us. You know, we always appreciate your insight. So was there any sort of thing that, that stuck out to you today, any kind of closing remarks or anything that oh. you felt was important for us to, to recap? Well, you know, first of all, there is so much information that uh, flowed out today. It's a uh, it's tough to keep track of. I'll try to summarize it from my perspective kind of quickly. Uh, obviously, there's some common themes throughout the day. Uh, the Ukraine situation, uh, China, new space, the new space era, its capabilities as well as its threats. Uh, we spent time on the importance of cyber. And in fact, our award recipient, Kevin Mandia, is right in the middle of all that. Uh, and we spent time on the role of AI and machine learning uh, in, and, and all of these things, these common themes throughout the day, all of these things contribute um, to our understanding of where we are, our understanding of the art of the possible and the trajectory of where we're going. So it becomes a, a significant uh, contributor to our decision calculus, whether, whether that's from a business perspective or whether that's from a uh, a military and government perspective. I, I thought General Petraeus was fantastic. He kicked off the day mm -hmm. talking about transitioning to a new era of great power rivalries. Uh, I think he talked about the war, a war of independence for the Ukraine, talked about China and Taiwan in the national defense strategy, even discussed Latin America and the concerning situation in this area as well. Um, I thought Lieutenant General Shaw was fantastic. Uh, he talked about the beginning of a third space age, the conjunction of all space sectors. He spent time, as we just heard from Kristen, talking about JADC2. He talked about new threats. He talked about the uh, the role of debris and how that's how that's affecting decision making. Uh, he talked about the importance of space in JADC2 in a, in a significant way. Uh, actually, that, that led into, uh, I thought uh, General Kim Kreider and General Alexander had a really powerful discussion. Uh, and, and I think they mentioned uh, a, radar, a radar picture for cyber, a blended cyber situational awareness picture like we have in other domains. Uh, that is a really interesting idea. Uh, and he talked about how AI and ML will change our ability to understand that radar picture in cyber, uh, understand it, report it, and respond. Uh, I thought that flowed really, really well into Kevin Mandia and General Alexander uh, talking about uh, Russia's cyber approach in the Ukraine. Uh, Kevin's talked about his shields up content, talked about cyber being a team game, talked about the concept that a threat would only be successful once, and then we as, a, as an enterprise would work holistically to defeat it across the board because it's a team game. And then he talked about the cyber capabilities emerging in China. Um, I, author Nina Schick impressed me. I had not had a chance to, uh, to, to hear her before, uh, but she's a, she, her, she talked about deep fakes. She talked about information warfare techniques. It was amazing to me that, that she's anticipating that, in, that faster than 20, 30, 90% of, the, of, uh, of all data will be synthetic, AI generated, uh, and, we, and the need to authenticate uh, at, the, at the point of capture or the point of authorship so that we know what's real and what's not. And then of course, Chris Engel piled on that, reframing uh, uh, what cyber is and why we care about it. Uh, he's of course our national cyber director. And I thought that was a, a, a compelling uh, discussion also. So a fascinating day. Uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, David. Really pleased to be a part of it. Thrilled that ComTech is your sponsor and, and that we can play a role in bringing this uh, dialogue forward. Well, thank you, sir. We look forward to tomorrow, as you said, and we want to thank you. We want to thank uh, Epic Times. We want to thank uh, Task of Purpose. We want to thank everyone who's helping us get this out to more and more people. We would love other networks, et cetera. We'd like to give everyone this content and let them put it out wherever they want to put it out. We, mm -hmm. we are a friend to all the world, and we want to engage everybody and create the largest ecosystem that we can. So I um, want to thank all of those who are helping us do that, and, and then most importantly, thank Ken. And with that, um, I guess we're going to sign off. We are. And simply say thank you, Ken, and certainly thanks to all of our uh, participants on this uh, Tuesday. Don't forget, Wednesday, middle of the weekday, coming up tomorrow, we're going to be here 930 sharp, Central Time, day two. And we uh, certainly look forward to having you be a part of the America's Future Series uh, Summit coming up tomorrow. So we'll see you then. In the meantime, stay safe, stay well, everybody. Good night.